Hi everyone, thanks for watching Lori Wired, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can debug the Java code of an Android APK using the JDB tool, also known as the Java Debugger. So there are two options for doing this. The first is to attach to an already running process, and then the second I'm going to show you how you can actually set the application to wait for the debugger to attach so you're not missing any code when the application is actually running. One thing that is the requirement for this process is to make sure that your APK is set to be debuggable. And I had a previous video on how to do that using APK Lab if you want to watch that before watching this video. So let's go to our sample. And I have chosen the same sample that I used in the APK Lab tutorial. And if we go on over to this dist folder, this is going to be the output APK that has been recompiled to allow debugging. So if I want to verify, I can just open up JDEX real quick and just make sure that that debuggable tag is set. So I'm going to copy it over into here, let that load. Let's go to resources and then our manifest. And we can do control F and look for debuggable. So Android colon debuggable and make sure that that is set to true. Otherwise we will not be able to debug this Android application. But now we've successfully verified that this is true. So let's go over and start running this and trying to debug it. I already have a VM up and running and I have a device that I just started. So let's make sure it's still running. Yep, looks good. Here's the screen of my device that I'm currently using today. Okay, so I already have added the APK that is debuggable over to the VM that I'm going to be running this on. And so we can go ahead and install that. But first, I want to show you how we can attach to a running process. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using something called JDWP, also known as the Java Debugger Wire Protocol. And so this is going to allow us to actually connect to our application that we're trying to debug. So let's just see what processes are available and we'll attach to a random one just to show how we can attach to a process that's already running. So we're going to do ADB. JDWP, and this is going to list the process IDs or PIDs of all the processes that we could debug right now. And if we want to see what each one of these PIDs belongs to, we can do ADB shell and let's switch user to root. And we can just run top. So these process IDs on the left hand side are going to match the ones that we listed earlier with the JDWP. Okay, so I'll kill that. And let's see, ADB. Let's exit out of our device. And let's just pick anyone. I don't care if I break this device by attaching to an important process. Does not matter. Okay, we'll just pick 1031. Let's make sure we're running as root though. Okay. So EDB devices, let's see if we reconnected. Nope. So connect back to our local host. That's where our device is running. And then if you're following along, I'm using RE Droid, so I'm just using SSH tunneling. So I'm just using screen copy to copy over the device. And let's make that a little bit smaller. Perfect. Okay, so now we're running ADB as root. We've picked, uh, I think it was this process ID that I'm gonna try debugging. And let's do the command ADB forward. And then let's pick a port on the host that we think is going to be open for a TCP connection. So this is going to be my Azure VM, uh, a port on here. And I'll just pick one, two, three, four, five. And then we want to connect on the remote 
um, device, so on the actual Android device through the JDWP that protocol. And then we will pick the, this is gonna be the process ID that we're gonna be connecting to. So now we forwarded the port and so we should just be able to attach to that port since it's now opened up via JDWP. So what we can do is we can just do JDB dash attach and then we're gonna do localhost and then our one, two, three, four, five. So this is cup this will make us connect to the localhost port, but we'll actually be connecting to the JDWP since we're sharing that port now. It looks like I had forgotten to install JDB on this particular Azure VM, so I've installed that now. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach to my process via the same command. Let's enter. And it looks like perfect. This is what we want to see. We're initializing JDB. And so now we have successfully attached to a running Android APK that is currently in the process of executing on our device. So once we've done this, we can list all of the classes that have been loaded into this particular APK and that it's using. We see a lot here. Okay, so we should also be able to list the methods in a particular class. If we go up and we just pick pretty much any class right here, I'll pick this one, copy, and then we'll type methods, methods, oops. Try that one more time. And we can list all of the methods that are part of that class that we decided to pick on. So we now we have successfully attached to the running process. Deep I want up. to show you how we can have a process wait for the debugger to attach because really oftentimes the interesting code happens right away when you're running that application. So you want to have the application actually wait for you to attach. So let's exit out of here and we can clear that port that we forwarded by going adb forward dash dash list and that shows all of our currently forwarded ports via adb and i'm going to do adb forward dash dash remove all and that'll just remove all of my forwarded ports i can verify like that okay so now that we've showed attaching to an already running process, let's install our target APK. So we can do ADB install, then the APK that we want to debug. Perfect, it looks like it was installed. Let me do ADB shell, and we will set our package that we want to debug to wait for the debugger to attach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to JDEX and I'm gonna actually get the package name. Let me put this back. So I'm gonna control F for package. I don't want that. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is the package name and this is what we're gonna have to set to wait since this is the identifier for the application that we're trying to debug. Okay, I'll go back and we'll just verify package manager list package. And we'll just pipe and grep for part of the package name. Okay, perfect. Com first smoke. So the command to have the debugger wait is Android, man Android manager set debug app dash w and then this is going to be the package name okay so now once we run this application this is going to cause the app to wait for us to attach our jdb to it okay i'm going to pull up my device and i'm actually going to get this application running and i think that this was the application that we just installed. So if I click this, you see we're gonna get that waiting for the debugger to attach. So now we can attach our JDB. But first things first, we actually need to get the PID of that application that's running. So let me do top and we'll find our PID right up here. So 
it's going to be this. I'm actually just going to do top pipe, grep, smoke, and clear that so that we can list that there. And then this 1695, that's the process ID of that running Android application. So let's exit out of that. And if we want to verify, we can do ADB JDWP, and we should also see that PID listed there. Yep, there we go, 1995, and it's usually, or sorry, 1695, and it's usually the last PID that's listed when you're running this command. So now all we need to do is we need to forward another TCP port from our Azure host to uh, target the JDWP of that particular process ID. So I'm going to do ADB forward TCP on our host. And I'll just pick any port that I know is going to be free and then JD WP. And then this is going to be that process ID one more time. Let's just verify. Perfect. So now we have that forwarding. So now we should just be able to attach our debugger. So let's do the JDB attach command. However, when you're attaching to the process and it's waiting for the debugger to attach, you need to have a little bit of an extra part to this so that you can suspend all threads when you're attaching to this process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this command right here. We're gonna do echo suspend and cat. And then close our brace. And then we're going to pipe that output over to JDB dash attach and then localhost. And then this TCP port of our host. One, two, three, four, five. And we should attach to that process. All right, so all threads are currently suspended and you see the de debugger, uh, the app is still waiting for the debugger to attach. So once we're ready and we've set some breakpoints, we're going to resume so that we can allow this application to start running. But I'm first going to just pick on something to try and set a breakpoint to allow us to stop. All right, so now we have attached to our process. So I would like to pick a point to debug before we resume the process or else it's just going to start running without stopping at any of our breakpoints of interest. So I'm going to pick a particular method that I would like to stop on and set that as a breakpoint. I'm going to go back to JDEX and I'm going to pick, I think this file class name right here. And we'll just do step or stop in and then the class name. And now we need a particular method that we're going to look at. So let's just do control F for file. And let's see what method is called. And let's just do file dot get absolute path and we'll stop the breakpoint right there. So now we've successfully set that breakpoint. And if you're curious of any of the different commands that you're using, then we can go to the JDB documents and we can just see, for example, we want to um, print all of the data structures and stuff like that. Or if we want to look at the stop in command, this is going to set a breakpoint at the beginning of the method. And that's the particular breakpoint type we're using. But feel free to look at any of the different breakpoint options right here. Or if you want to just step to the next instruction and many, many more. And it also shows you the JDB attached command right here as well. But I'm going to go back to my process and I've set my breakpoint. And if I want to, I can list all of my classes for this. There's quite a few here, um, but I have my breakpoint set. So I'm just going to hit resume to resume all threads. And it looks like we have hit our breakpoint of getting our absolute path inside of our application right here. 
And you see now our app has uh, successfully worked and attached so uh, and started running since the debugger has attached. So we could just continue on and step through the application and everything, but I'm just going to finish right here since I've showed you how you can attach. And then if you would like to continue debugging, just read the JDB documentation for how you can continue on stepping through. So thanks so much for watching Lori Wired, everyone. In this video, we looked at how we could attach to a process that was running an application using JDB, also known as the Java debugger. And then we also showed how we could forward ports from the host to the JWDP or the Java debug wire protocol so that we could attach to our running application. We also showed two ways of attaching. The first, how to attach to an already running process, and then the second, to have an extra command to suspend all threads so that we could attach to a process that was waiting to be debugged and then use the resume command to actually let that process start going. We also showed how we could set breakpoints using JDB. So thanks so much for watching Lori Wired, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.